ghost images in panoramic radiograph. This is a topic that comes often in our board examinations and also if you are practicing. Ghost image is not that scary. It is just a, uh, the secondary image of an object that is in the way of the x-ray. So let's look at the, how the machine works first of all. So this is the tube head. You can think of this as the camera or the projector in a film. And this is going to rotate behind the back of the patient. And the image of receptor of the film is going to rotate in the front. And this is how the images are taken. Now if you look at this one, the x-ray source is over here. And when this penetrates the oral cavity and goes to the other side, this is where you're going to have the image. But if there's an object in the way, it's going to be represented on one side, but also magnified on the other side. This happens if this x-ray penetrates two sides of the oral cavity. But for example, if the machine, or the tube head was here and it penetrated only here, well, you wouldn't have a ghost image because it's not penetrating two different sides. I hope that this makes sense. And let's look at the few characteristics of ghost image. First of all, ghost image is gonna be blurry. It is out of focus. Everything that's just inside this narrow focal trough is gonna be clear. But if it's outside, like this earring, it's not gonna be clear. Number two, it is going to be a little higher up than the original image. For example, if you had an earring, the ghost image is gonna be a little higher up than the ear level. And number three, it is going to be on the opposite side. If the area was on the right side, the ghost image is going to be on the left side. Those are the three characteristics and then move on. let's move on to some examples. Here you see this bar that's in the patient's jaw that probably was implanted because it was trauma or something like that. And do you see those lines? Those are the ghost image. And the three characteristics, higher up, opposite side and blurry. This is something very similar, but see how the ghost image looks a little different? And let's look at this, the earrings. The most popular in the examinations. This is, those two actually are the original earrings. This one is reflected as a ghost image over here. Can you see that it's bigger? It has exactly the same shape, but more blurry. And this one is reflected over here. And if you think about it, this is again the tube head rotating here, the film, the receptor over here. And let's look at some other earring examples. Again, you have this real earring over here and this is the big ghost image. Again, higher up, blurry, and on the opposite side. This hoop is a little different because let's say it's here and it's taken from many different angles. So sometimes it might not look like an um, earring, it might, not it might look like a straight like this, it depends. And here, this is an example that I purposely put in order to show you that ghost images are not just about earrings. They're also about the oral structures that we have. Can you see this? This is the mandible, the angle of the mandible, and this is the ghost image of the same structure. Higher up, blurry, and on the opposite side. So, our lesson here, first of all, is to ask the patient to remove any object that is in the way. And if you see some unusual areas that are, you know, too white, too dark, for example, here, you can ask yourself, is this a ghost image? Rather than telling your patient there's something wrong with you and alerting the dentist. And to review, we have the three characteristics of a ghost image. The first of all was going to be that it was blurry Number two, it is higher up. And number three, it is on the opposite side. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching Student RDH and Smarter DA YouTube channel. Thank you. If you want to continue studying, go to smarterda.com and find all the courses we have. For example, radiology, infection control, and many more. And you also have some free trials.